what it do surprise shoddy crew i know it's been a few days i don't know how many exactly but i'm here today okay and i actually have a couple of words from easter weekend so we just gonna catch up okay um it's funny because the one we're starting with i had a moment like that last night too so let me tell you what happened last night i was taking notes and i was just so in awe of the fact that we can like but like, our brain signals like the rest of our body to do different things and the fact that we can even memorize letters and like how to write and all of that right i was just like thank you god like there are certain things that happen and i'm just like explain it right and uh <laughs> that's gonna bring me to this moment we had around easter me and my grandma and her sisters okay but stuff like that you're not finna tell me he not real because how explain how i write and don't not the scientific part like right like how is it like my brain signals my hand and all that explain to me who designed us that way no and i'll insert this in for a funny when i was in a freshman in college uh my chemistry teacher loves me because that was a very hard class for me i had a lot of hard classes when i was in school that challenged my faith one of which was that first chemistry class um and not challenged it to where like i didn't believe but it was like what they were teaching us was so like uh no <laughs> and um that teacher and um I took an ethics class and that was very, very, very intense. I'll have to tell you about that at a later time. But I remember I would answer the questions, like put the answer he wanted, but I would also put like the correct answer and I will never forget that. And he told me I was one of his favorite students for my ball. He was a Christian and he was telling me he had like a hard time even teaching the stuff sometimes. Like we were learning about the, the Big Bang Theory. Like that was one of the questions on one of the tests. I had one of the highest grades on that test too. This is freshman year and um he called me into his office and i was like am i in trouble like he was he just wanted to talk to me and that's when he told me all that and he was like um he enjoyed grading my test because for some things you know you have to put like what science says all of this but on my test i would be like but you know really like <laughs> it's god like i would put two separate answers in i just want to share that with somebody um maybe he wanted me to encourage us to be bold and authentic because i've been needing that myself here lately there's a way to do it you know um lovingly and honestly and stuff but sometimes i miss the boldness that i used to have like i know i still have it but i miss like it was so unapologetic and it was like not worried about um getting dragged on the internet i'm not a fan of that you know so um there's some encouragement for some praying that boldness over my children so it makes sense you know um they mama need to embody that so this one's actually about relationships i'm sorry but i told y'all i had a moment like that last night which brings me to this day so when i was at my grandma's house for easter i was watching probably hawaii 5 on my ipad or something and a klondike bar commercial came on you know like what would you do for a klondike bar bar and um the man was willing to shave off one of his eyebrows and so i was sitting there looking at the commercial I was laughing, but then it hit me just like last night with the writing and stuff. I was like, God, you really gave us two eyebrows. Now, I don't know the absolute necessary function why we have eyebrows, what type of protection it brings because they're over our eyes. I don't know none of that, but I know God saw fit to give us two eyebrows. Does it just make us look cuter and less weird? So I was just like sitting there stuck. Like I was like, I was literally laughing at this commercial. And then all of a sudden it was like, you really gave us two eyebrows. Not one, two. I got one to cover this eye and one to cover this eye. Do you get what I'm saying? So I kind of just sat there like, thank you, God. And I didn't say nothing to nobody. It went until the next day because my grandma had said something. And I was like, hey, look, I was watching this commercial. And so me and her started talking about it. Her sister started talking about it. Y'all, when I say we talked ourselves happy, so this is how this word came about. Two are better than one. Because I, it's not just one eyebrow. You gave us two eyebrows. And then we went into like, and he gave us two eyes and two nostrils and two ears. And my grandma and them even took it further. Like, ladies, we have two ovaries right we got two um arms two legs two you y'all know what i'm saying a lot of things there's two on our body um so he gave me two or better than one he sent me to ecclesiastes chapter four verses nine through twelve of course and i'm going to 
the God of two. Like even when we go back to Noah and stuff, like he is a God of two. And then um, right now he's telling me, you know, like male, female, right? And it, and it comes together, like we, it, it comes together. Um, I put our bodies, two sides, left and right, but it makes one, right? Like, why do we have a left side and a right side? Why do I have one eyebrow? And, and that's what my grandma was saying, it, especially when we're talking about different things. That's why we, were, we really were talking about so many different body parts. But say something happens to your right arm. Okay, well, you got a left one. Or say something happened to your left leg. Oh, well, you got a right one. Say something happens with one of your ovaries, ladies. You got another one that still carries eggs. You get what I'm saying? Like, God knows what he's doing. Say something happens to this ear. You got another one, right? Two are better than one. And he illustrates that with even how he created the human body, even if it's not an exact duplicate, but it's like a and right male and female, right? Like, I just, they go together, right? Like, left and right goes together right male and female goes together so we were just we really talked ourselves happy like that's what's up and so when i came back home after easter i read the scripture because i knew it was like there's a scripture that says two are better than one so i'm gonna just leave y'all with that two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor if either of them falls down one can help the other up like i said if something goes wrong with this hand you got a whole nother hand right if something happens with you and, and you want flesh with your spouse. And that's what I just saw that on Instagram. Come through Holy Spirit. It was like sometimes relationships aren't 50-50. Sometimes it's 80-20, whatever. But it's more so maybe your partner not at their best. But you are. Or you can make up for it. Because it's two of y'all. Two are truly better than one. And that's what uh, verse 10 says. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. So that would be in a situation where it's, it's just one goes down, there's no covering, there's no backup. And now I'm thinking about a, like a situation at work. So it don't necessarily have to be, um, oh, come through Holy Spirit. It don't necessarily have to be the relationships, right? Um, I saw something the other day that said, uh, what what's better than two, three, right? <laughs> so, um, which we, come on Holy Spirit, that's verse 12, right? What's better than two, three. Like now we reinforced, okay? Okay, Holy Spirit. I love when he does this because I did not have all that written down. Like I literally only had everything I already said at the top. <laughs> so, uh, so what's better than two, three, would you go get to that? But um, think about like at work, like, cause we be going through that, like, hey, like we kind of, we need, we need some manpower, you know? And um, that's why, because like, say your team leader, somebody go out of town, you need to have another person who can step in, fill in, right? Which is different than reinforcing it. Three is what's gonna reinforce it. Okay, let's keep reading. I'm getting excited. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. Sounds like comfort to me, right? Like physically extra body heat, right? But if two lie down together, they will keep warm. That's comfort, right? And I think I just released that last week. Added comfort. Come through, Holy Spirit. Like, I love when God does this. But how can one keep warm alone, right? Though one, oh, he's talking right now. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. Okay? Would you rather get attacked and it's just you? Or you want to get attacked and it's somebody else? Which mean? And that's a spiritual type of thing, right? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. But what he just said to me was, because um, I don't want anybody to hear these verses and you think like, I'm one, I'm one, I'm alone. No, you're not. Because we always have Jesus. You're not alone. So right now you might feel like one, like you might not be in your uh, union with the other human, but you're not one, right? And y'all are both com <laughs> coming with the spirit. Let's go. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A core, a core of three strands is not quickly broken not easily broken okay of three strands the holy spirit is that reinforcement poo okay so i just wanted to share that with y'all because he gave me that like two weeks ago and um let me, let me go ahead and get all this stuff out right but it's isn't it encouraging like and i was just listening to lecrae all i need is you and um i do listen to that and i think about like jesus is bae right but in the music video it's actually him and his wife right so you're not alone because even though we may be technically single excuse me it's not just us it's us and jesus right so it's already two and then same with your spouse and then we all come together it's gonna be you the spouse and the holy spirit because the holy spirit is the same okay on both ends a cord of three strands it's not easily broken not quickly broken right amen let y'all see you on the next video